Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, we all know how relatively easy it is to get solar ignition with a Ziploc bag of water. But can you see all the sparkles in the grass? Maybe, you, maybe the camera doesn't pick up on it. This grass is saturated with dew. How awesome would it be if we were able to take like a wash rag and just collect up enough dew to fill up a Ziploc bag to get solar ignition? Let's go ahead and try that. But first I want to show you how, how easy it is with clear water. I don't know how cloudy that dew water is going to be. I like to squeeze it out, try to get all the air out of, if possible. Because air bubbles inside of this, like that right there, just makes it more difficult. Alright, let's try that now. That's hot enough to ignite it. Let's try it. Now, you see how long that took with clear water. Let's see. Let's see if we can even get ignition with dew water. I guess I should have paid more attention to all those water purification videos that I've seen over the years. That is some cloudy water. So now, I think what I'll do is just let that sit for an hour so most of those solids will settle out and we'll pour what's left through a washcloth. If that's not clear enough, we'll do something else to try to purify, purify that water. Right there. So I'm gonna give it another hour to settle some more. I mean, <laughs> uh, it's pretty far away from what I'd like for it to be. But at some point, maybe in another hour, we'll run it through some paper towels and see if that makes it clear enough to use. Yeah, it's settled out pretty good. It's been like an hour and a half. Not sure how I want to filter it though. I found these bottles here. Let's see if maybe I cut the bottom off it shove some paper towel down in the end of it and see if I can collect it back up in this one. I didn't want to have to introduce all this paraphernalia in there though, you know it. And try to get it try to get it to filter through. Let me get a stick. There's a stick. You reckon that'd be big enough? What do you think about that? Just let it filter through that into this. Let's try it and see what happens. Let's see if we can get some clear liquid out of this thing. That's some dirty dew. Well, it 
it didn't clean it much, I'm not going to be able to get a solar ignition with something that dirty. That's still too dirty for solar ignition. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try a solar ignition with this. I didn't want to have to add all kinds of paraphernalia. You know, the sand, the charcoal, the layers of fabric in between, and a two liter bottle. I didn't want to go through all that. So, what do you say I take my big huge tarp, which is fairly new, and lay it, on, lay it out on the ground overnight, and then tomorrow morning, see if it has gathered up enough for us to go ahead and and it'd be clear enough to go ahead and do a solar ignition. But before I go, let's take, let's go ahead and take that bag right there and for today's segment and go ahead and get a fire. You might wonder why I'm not putting the camera in a different place so that you can actually see it's hard to get all this on video, especially when it comes to solar. So I'll show you the best I can. Hopefully you can take some of these techniques and, and recreate them yourself. I get my shades on. I always wear your shades when doing solar experiments. Let's see, here's that punk wood. That was supposed to work with the dew. Always find it on your finger first. The hottest part of the focal point, the most concentrated part of the focal point on your finger first. Oh, and that is very hot. That's gonna work nicely, watch. That still amazes me though, Ziploc baggie of water to make solar ignition. Yeah, we'll lay that tarp out. If we have another heavy dew, that tarp should collect plenty to fill that Ziploc bag up. It only, I only fill it up about two inches before I start collecting it up into a solar lens. So. Let's get our solar fire. I'll go get that tarp.
We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Well, we got a heavy dew last night. You can see my footprints walking through the grass. So I was expecting heavy dew on our tarp. This is an eight by 10. But really we just got little smears of condensate right there and there. Nothing, I mean, that's not enough to gather any up into a, into a puddle. I thought it might interfere with how much dew is laid down if we had a tarp on the ground. Um, I figured the moisture coming out of the ground has something to do with it, but if you think about windshields, you know a windshield can be heavy with dew with a bunch of water just rolling off of it. So I had hopes that this would work better. So I'm gonna get right in here and try to be careful how deep I go in the grass. Go right in there with a wash rag again and try to just get the very tip tops of that grass and see if that's uh, some cleaner clearer liquid. Let me just go ahead and check out these smears on this tarp. Maybe there's more uh, dew on there than I think there is. Yeah, it's too light. There's not, there's not much moisture there. Not much condensate. Well, <clears throat> there's no problem collecting plenty of dew. Especially early morning like this. It was 10 o'clock yesterday when I was trying to collect that. But today, it was... <laughs> There's plenty there to sop up. But as you see, even though I used a lighter touch, it's still too dirty to try to use. So I want to wait and use the one o'clock sun anyways. It's like eight o'clock right now. So I'll search YouTube again, see if there's a, a good way to let to, to sort of filter this out and get it clear enough to use for solar. Well, I went to pick the tarp up and all the condensate was on the bottom of the tarp, which makes sense. Moisture in the ground, cool air up top, condensate causes that moisture to condense on the bottom of the tarp. So even though that little bit of water down there looks, looks a little bit cloudy, it still looks cleaner than what we have to work with. So. Let's see if more of this will drain, because I'll need a bigger puddle than that. Maybe we can use that for our Ziploc bag solar ignition. We'll try to figure something out. I bet you that condensate would be just as cloudy, even though it's on a relative, <laughs> relatively clean color. Let's try it. I rinsed my rag out real good. I lost a lot of good condensate on the back side of that tarp before I figured it out. So far, that's the cleanest dew that I found. I guess I'll have to go to the roof now. Yeah, kind of squeezing out. Surprisingly, it's almost as cloudy. Oh, can't see it. Surprisingly, it's almost as cloudy as what came off the ground. Look at that. Okay. Well, we'll continue on this afternoon with that other uh, condensate. All right. I'm going in for the bottom of the tarp water. Clean as water yet. 
I will try that small amount in a Ziploc bag and see if it's clear enough. Yeah, that water's still too cloudy to allow enough photons through to make a good hot focal point. There's just the least amount of heat coming off of that focal point. It's too cloudy though, look. I brought some bleach out here. I wanna try putting bleach in that cup full of dew that we got waiting till one or two o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see if that'll clear it up a little bit. Let's come back, take a look at it in about an hour. All right, let's go ahead and recap. I was hoping that we'd come up with some simple way to get water to put in a Ziploc bag and just go ahead and get a solar ignition. I didn't realize that the dew that we collected up would be so murky and that it'd be so hard to clarify. I don't want to go through the trouble of making filters and breaking out bleach and passing it through paper towels and stuff to try to leach it and make it clean. Now the bleach did make this a lot clearer, but it's still just as cloudy as this little one that we tried. So let's end this with another solar ignition. And I just want to show you that you don't need this, this size here, this big size. You can, you go ahead and use a smaller amount of water in your Ziploc bag to get solar ignition. Let's end it proving that. Boy, this water is hot from laying on that black table. So let's squeeze out about half of that water. Boy, that water's hot. You wouldn't believe how hot that water is. Yeah, that's about the same size as that other one on the table. Have a very small solar water lens right now and some punk wood. Let's give it a try. Find it on your finger first. find where it's at, ignite your punk wood. And as with all solar ignition, it just it takes patience. It's just now starting to darken. It won't be long, we'll see some smoke. I just did some micro adjustments, and that's all it took to go ahead and get the ignition. little old water lens but it works
All right, y'all. Uh, I had an enjoyable time, even though it took two days to knock out all these experiments. Didn't really seem like we were accomplishing much, but uh, you know, we we learned some more things about how clear the water has to be for solar ignition. Um, we learned good ways to collect dew and that you can collect a lot of dew. With just a little bit of effort, you can collect a lot of dew. I mean, if you had a life straw, just think just think of how you could collect the dew and drink all the water you wanted with a life straw. So, it was fun. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on